Similarly to how grocery stores don't have to list chlorine on your raw chicken or baby carrots, cosmetic brands don't have to list PFAs in their makeup. And that's because PFAs are often not added directly. They're used earlier in the supply chain to treat ingredients like mica, titanium dioxide, iron oxides. These coatings make makeup smoother, longer lasting, waterproof. But since they're considered a part of the raw material, they're not necessarily an ingredient. So brands aren't required to disclose them. So if you saw earlier this year that France is moving to ban PFAs in makeup, this is why. And honestly, sometimes it's not the brand's fault. A lot of times they don't even know it's in there. But a 2021 study showed that this is a way more widespread issue than just one off. When you're testing for PFAs, you're looking for the presence of fluorine. And out of the 231 products they tested, 52% tested high for fluorine levels. And most of the ones that tested high for fluorine levels did not disclose that there's PFAs in it. And at the end of the day, US regulations does not require cosmetic companies to disclose PFAs as long as they're part of a proprietary or treated ingredient. The easiest way to avoid PFAs in your makeup is by avoiding products that have claims like long wear, water resistant, waterproof. So think mascaras, eyeliners, certain foundations, long wear lip products. And just to give you an idea, some of the products that tested the highest were CoverGirl Outlast Foundation, L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Matte Lipstick, Urban Decay Waterproof Eyeliner, and none of those listed PFAs on the label.